Now, what are some other ways that Jibreel came to the Prophet ﷺ? He did not stop coming to him in his dreams. So just because he was now manifesting himself with revelation, it does not mean that he stopped coming in his dreams. There are some other ways. In his dreams, he'd come to the Prophet ﷺ sometimes with Mikal. So sometimes the Prophet ﷺ saw Jibreel and Mikal together. One time he sees him and Jibreel and Mikal take him and they show him the punishment and the rewards of the grave. So the long hadith of Adab al-Qabr, the punishment of the grave and the rewards of the grave, are Jibreel and Mikal pointing out to the Prophet ﷺ what is happening. Then he showed him Al-Jannah, paradise and hellfire. And the Prophet ﷺ was shown his home in paradise. He actually saw his house in paradise. So the Prophet ﷺ said, at that point I said to Jibreel and Mikal, دعاني أدخل منزلي. Leave me now to enter my house. I don't want to go back. Let me get in now. And Jibreel alayhi salam, he put his, ha his hand on the arm of the Prophet ﷺ and he said, you still got some time in this world and then you'll enter it inshaAllah. Okay? Another time the Prophet ﷺ said, I saw in my dream Jibreel and Mikal and Mikal said to Jibreel, give him an analogy. Give him a method. So Jibreel alayhi salam, he said the analogy of the message or the parable of the message that has been given to you, Ya Rasulullah, is that of a, of a king who conquered a land. When the king conquered, conquered that land, he built a house in that land. And then when he built that house, he constructed that house, he spread a table spread with food on it. And he invited whoever wanted to come into that home. Jibreel alayhi salam said, Allah is the king. The land is Islam. The home is Jannah. The food is the food of Al-Jannah. وَأَنْتَ يَا Muhammad Rasulullah, And you, O Muhammad, are the Messenger of Allah. Whoever responds to you has entered into Jannah and will eat whatever they desire of it. So Jibreel and Mikal are explaining to the Prophet ﷺ who he is and actually giving him amthal of what he represents and what his message represents. Other times Jibreel ﷺ came to the Prophet ﷺ with a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his dream. So the Prophet ﷺ saw an image of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. Jibreel alayhi salam showed the Prophet ﷺ Aisha for three consecutive nights. And he told the Prophet Akhirah. This is your wife in this world and the next. And Aisha, she used to boast. She used to say, Jibreel proposed on my behalf. Like who else has that distinction? Jibreel came and asked for my hand, right? <laughs> SubhanAllah, Jibreel proposed on her behalf. Sometimes Jibreel just showed him Jannah. Random scenes of Jannah. So one time the Prophet ﷺ said, Jibreel came to me and he took me to a palace in paradise. It was so beautiful that the Prophet ﷺ was about to go in. As he was about to go in, Jibreel said, actually that's Umar bin Khattab's house. <laughs> so the Prophet ﷺ said, I did not go in because I remembered how jealous of a man Umar is. So I just stayed back. And he narrated the dream the next day and Umar was there and Umar felt bad. That Rasulullah was too shy to enter his house in Jannah. Like Umar was over the excitement of having a palace in Jannah. Like, Ya Rasulullah, like, you think I would stop you from coming into my house in Jannah? <laughs> Rasulullah he also says, Atani Jibreel, Jibreel came to me and he took me by my hand and he showed me the gate of my Ummah that will enter, or the gate of Jannah that my Ummah will enter through. So the Prophet as he's narrating that dream, Abu Bakr starts crying now. Rasulullah said, why are you crying? He said, Ya Rasulullah, I wish I could have been with you to see that. Rasulullah grabbed the hand of Abu Bakr and he said, Ya Abu Bakr, you and I will enter Jannah like this. You're good. It shows you where the Sahaba were as well. They weren't like, what did it look like? What happened here? They were concerned about themselves. They were concerned about their salvation. They were concerned about pleasing Allah and the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.